What's up guys, Express here, back with another tutorial. Now in this tutorial, it's not in Photoshop, it's in Pixlr. And what we will create today is something very simple and it will look something like this. It's a very simple design, you can do this um, in a couple of minutes, really easy. Jump straight into Pixlr this time and let's see what we'll make. We'll make a great simple um, header in my opinion, be free in the link in the description if you hit 100 likes. It's gonna be on my Payhip store for of course a download limit. The file also will be a Pixlr file that you can easily change just the text. You double click on the text and you will easily change that to your own name. Okay, um, let's just jump in, make a new file, new image, but you go to social and you go to Twitter cover and you click create. Uh, but yeah, then you search of course uh, a nice render. I'm gonna take this one. It will also be in the link in the description if you want this of course. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. I'm gonna place that around the middle and don't worry about the cutout. Um, like in the preview, we're going to put a text on top of that. Marquee select tool and select the, the Saya team and just press um, delete. Of course, I have to be on the layer. Uh, press delete and it's gonna be deleted. Also press control D if you wanna deselect something. Uh, it's the same in Photoshop, it's the same in here. And so what you wanna do now is of course, um, fill in your background. So go on layer one, uh, choose a nice color. I always take a color of the character take something light if you want to go something light if you want to take something dark it's also a possibility there you go fill it in with the bucket tool uh, the shortcut is f then of course you want to type your name i'm going to take the same name that i've taken in this uh, if you play something with the text tool it's going to automatically say do you want to add a new layer and you want to add a new layer i'm going to paste in that name the font that i use is free to use in um the software and then i made it around 190 or 200 something like that make it pretty big Put it in the middle you get these little lines that help you you know that's in the middle click on the text uh, with your text tool of course and then you can go to styles and i put a little shadow on top of that uh, with the blur zero and the color is around this uh, like a little um, purple pink kind of color um, and of course the distance a bit closer and the opacity a bit brighter something like then of course I have this Japanese text. The Japanese text is from the anime and if you want to search that up, you just uh, look up Demon Slayer and you will have something similar. I'm just going to copy that text, um, but you can just search that up um, and I'll also add a new layer text, paste that in there. And what I just did with this, because there's no not really a Japanese um, font in the software, what I did is just go um, from format, made it bold uh, as well, changed the color to something more vibrant in my opinion. Um, we are going to take this purple, but make it a bit more vibrant as well, like so. Like more pinkish, I guess. I think that's real nice. And then the letter spacing a bit closer to each other. And then um, make it bold, like so. And make it give an outline with a, a yellow color that could work, like so. And then you place it again in the middle, like this. What I did then is made a new layer. You click on this little uh, icon and make an empty layer. Then I went to the rectangle tool and made a nice little rectangle behind the text. I think that fits it in the design, in my opinion. Take like a nice little blue color, take your bucket tool again and fill that in like so. I'm going to put that on top of the render, just drag it and drop it on top of the layer. What I've done then is just put some uh, nice uh, rectangles, shapes in the background as well. But before that, we're going to duplicate our text layer with a Ctrl C and a Ctrl V. They go, it's that easy, it's that, it's that easy. We just wanna change the font to something more hand drawn look style, I guess. Uh, it's up to you really, um, this fits, uh, but it's up to you really what you want to do with it. I'm gonna make it maybe a bit smaller. There you go, I'm gonna paste that in the middle. Then also what I have is the same render in the background, but just uh, colored in. So what I did is uh, duplicate the layer, then Ctrl V of course, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Then I moved the layer a bit more to the left and make it a bit bigger, like so. Then I put it behind everything, but on top background layer. Now what I did is go to select and select pixels. Then you have selected the area of the image that you ha uh, have on your layer. Then I made a new layer, an empty one. Went to my bucket tool and color, and I the color I did like a nice little purple color. Uh, like so, then bucket tool, clicked once on the new layer, and then of course, Ctrl D to deselect, and I have something like this. Another rectangle on a new layer, of course, on a new layer, empty layer, a little rectangle on top of the cutout, like so, with of course, around the same purple that I did for the background, 
fill that in, move the layer on top of everything, like so, Ctrl D to deselect. Then I've taken the same Japanese text, so I'm just gonna copy that. I'm going to make a new, um, new text, I'm gonna paste that in there, um, make the size a lot smaller, the size a lot smaller. What I did is I just pressed enter every time and then it shows it up below each other. Then of course I made the size still a lot smaller so it fits in the little rectangle. Then the format I've done again bold one and the color of course uh, the same yellow of course. So I'm gonna now put that on top of that. I guess I have to make it a bit smaller. And then what I've done is just some big basic circles shapes in the background that I think fit really well so a new layer oh i just duplicated that layer new layer an empty layer and then of course you want to go to your um let's go to your polygon tool so you click on this little lasso select tool and then on top of this you have uh, your polygon tool and then you want to just make some little um triangles like so connect them to each other fill them in with the color of your preference of course uh, that you think will fit and then fill them in on new layer with the bucket tool. I'm gonna put that on top of the text like so. Ctrl D to deselect and then I've put another one uh, on the left side as well, but maybe like a bigger one like so. And then fill it in maybe with a different color that you think will fit more. And then fill it in with a bucket tool on the same layer uh, as you want. That's the same color as the rectangle, so maybe a different color. And then of course I put some circles in it as well. Click on the rec marquee tool, the rectangle marquee tool. Then you have ellipse and then make a new layer, an empty one again. And then you just um, hold in um, shift to make a nice little circle like so. And then fill that in with whatever you want. Now what you can do is of course go to layer, uh, flatten the image and go to adjustments and then change the hue and saturation uh, if you want to change the color and everything. Uh, that's up to you really what you want to do. You can pop up the saturation to look at a bit more vibrant and everything. Then you can go also to um, exposure, color balance, HDR, uh, apply. That's up to you really. But then you can't change anything anymore that you will see here will be available in the download description if this hits 100 likes then you just double click the text layer then you change to your own name uh, and then there you go it's your name simple as that and then it's your header or pixlr you will get the pixlr file of both of them of the preview and the one i made in the tutorial you get both of them so you can do whatever you want with it you can change the character as simple as well you just select the character delete it and you paste your own new one so you don't need any other um, software or any other people any other packs you can just create your own nice little simple header that you can use for your twitter or for your friends it's up to you really uh, but i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace